The first stop on our mini tour today is going to be number 298 Bowery. That location is where I stop in front of the restaurant supply company. The building used to be the Gotham Inn, which was a farmhouse that had been converted into a tavern. In 1837, the Gotham Baseball Club was formed as the first organised baseball team in America. And in the mid-1800s, the tavern at 298 Bowery was their clubhouse. The first conventions for the National Association of Baseball Players were held here in 1857. For the last 11 years of the 19th century, the building was the Globe Dime Museum. It was here that Harry Houdini gave his first solo performance. And it was also the place where the comedy duo, Weaver and Fields, also made their first appearance. Somewhat ironically, Joe Weaver and Harry Houdini are buried in adjoining graveyards. I will put a link in the description for that video where I visit both graves, which is also the location where the cowardly lion, Bert La, is buried. In addition to the acts named already, the Globe Dime Museum was also where W.C. Fields made his first New York appearances as well. In his own words, he would perform his act all day long and through half of the night, where he would play to as many as 20 different audiences each day. Imagine that in today's day and age. It would be fair to say that he learned his craft the old school way. This is what we are looking at right now, 298 Bowery, where the first organised baseball team in America had its home, and where many a star of vaudeville got their first break before they became famous acts around the world. Across the street once stood McGurk Suicide Hall. It was originally called McGurk Saloon after its owner, John McGurk and it opened in 1893. The establishment was known as the worst place to go along the Bowery, a place of total degradation. The head bartender was known as Shortchange Charlie, who kept a supply of chloral hydrate with him to drug unaware patrons in order to render them unconscious and rob them of their meager earnings. The bouncer was the first one of his kind to be employed with a firearm, an infamous character called eat -em up Jack McManus, a former boxer who was also a close acquaintance of Paul Kelly, the leader of the notorious Five Points Gang. eat -em up Jack was frequently arrested for assault, but rarely faced any consequences for his actions due to the temporary amnesia suffered by his victims when it came time to identify him to the police. The hotel on top of the saloon was filled with down and out homeless people and it was also home to prostitutes who had reached their lowest ebb in life. In 1897 an alarming trend began in the saloon's back room Two prostitutes who had reached the depths of despair attempted suicide by mixing carbolic acid with whiskey in order to end it all. Never once turned down an opportunity, McGurk renamed his saloon to McGurk Suicide Hall. Of course, people wanted to see the macabre and soon new punters would arrive in their droves in the hopes of witnessing a distressed woman decide to take her own life only for them to be robbed by Shortchange Charlie and beaten up by eat -em up Jack. It was the worst dive in the city, and when a woman who had turned to prostitution ended up here, it was considered the lowest of the low. Nobody knows exactly how many women committed suicide at the Gurk Suicide Hall. At a minimum, it was at least ten that were documented, and of course many more attempted it. The rather grisly method of choice was ingesting carbolic acid, but because the building was four stories high, jumping off of the building was also an alternate choice. The Bowery in New York City at one time was known as Skid Row. From the time of the Civil War until the 1980s, it was a destitute area, 
filled with brothels, beer gardens, flop houses and lowbrow concert halls. Until 1955, an elevated railway ran along the road here, which further darkened the murky streets. There are literally dozens of stories to be told along the Bowery, and eventually I will probably get to them all. But for today, we will just focus on these two stories in this relatively short video. Bye for now, guys, and I will catch you soon.